Hey guys, Wallow D here. We're going to start off with Super Punch-Out for the Super Nintendo, and my goodness, it's nice to get this going. As you can see, it's not like the original Punch-Out at all, where you have to name your boxer, and while Little Mac seems like a good idea, I'm going to go with Macho Mac, because there is no resemblance. No black hair, no star punches, no Doc Lewis, and definitely starred or cameoed in the EA Sports game, which is confusing me. And there's more proof. Knockout punch? Also, whenever you start this game, put your power up to manual, because auto is a piece of crap when it comes to that. So the minor circuit and its row of losers. Gabby J being the first and the worst. And wow, what a horrible record, dude. How Gabby J! Yay! No. <laughs> So, Gabby J is pretty much a punching bag with legs. He is pretty much going to get destroyed every time you meet him, unless you are really, really new to this series. But if anything, once you get him down to half health, he starts to act like a very confused turtle, trying to block your shots and hoping that his dodges work. However, when you dodge like this, you're going to get countered like that. You're going to get hit, winded, and fall down. So, Gabby J just learned that rule. And once he realizes that he has no chance in hell to beat you, he resorts to habits, and habits being Glass Joe. And you know how well those can usually work. So, I, as you can imagine, this guy is not going to get up after re realizing Glass Joe does not work in this ring. And I feel bad because he did beat his mentor, guys. He did beat his mentor. However, that doesn't really matter anymore. So yes, once you beat a boxer, you get these points tallied. Unfortunately, these points really don't amount to much. If you want the real big thing, it's this board. The time board, the replay value board. And I got first in it already. So, Bear Hugger's our next opponent, the mass murderer from Canada. And he is kind of sad. Bear Hugger! The reason why this guy I would not really call mass murderer is because he is too passive to be such. However, he does have a very nasty counter. But like with like all brick walls, once you find the cracks, breaking through it's pretty easy. In this case, hitting him in the stomach at the right time, or basically doing the smart ducking of the bear hug and countering it. It's pretty simple. But once you get past that phase, you will start to learn that Bear Hugger is a horrible boxer. Slow, pretty pathetic. You can pretty much tear this guy up when he starts attacking you. And that's pretty much what you need to do. Because, I mean, there's no point in him showing off anything else. So, pretty much once you get past the defensive gimmick, Bear Hugger is a joke. You should not have problems. Just watch out for the Bear Hug when he blocks your punches. That's all I can really warn you about. And, uh, let's see. Anything else about Bear Hug should I mention? Oh yeah, there are some other things you should know. You can beat this guy pretty damn fast without even seeing a Bear Hug. That's kind of how bad it is. So, Bear Hugger goes back to Canada and realizes that maple syrup is not a good drink for an everyday use. But, uh, 50,000 points is great for an extra life in this game, apparently. So, anything, Piston Hurricane is where the beginners start to hit the road bumps. However, experts, not so much. Piston Hurricane! The reason being is that Piston Hurricane is definitely a little bit better and more of a standard boxer. However, he does not know how to defend like a boxer. So, once you start seeing him cr cringe over on his stomach, you know that you have an opportunity to hit him and knock him down instantly. However, I just want to keep him around and standing to his feet because of this. Yeah, so he can just do it anyway. That is the Hurricane Rush. When he grunts like a madman and charges forward, you have two options. Block or punch. Also, when he gets up, watch out for the wake up. Uppercut, because that might catch you. Wait, what the fuck? Mac, what are you doing? So apparently, little... Or Macho Mac was so stunned by these horrible dance moves of show him your fancy footwork that he froze in place. That is a very nasty glitch, guys. Just 
don't ever get yourself caught into it by just waiting for him to dodge out of the way and try to attack you and do nothing else because it is nothing more humiliating than getting punched by this guy. And here's the problem with wake up uppercuts. You get pretty much countered if people are aware to your plans. That's how all fighting games go, man. And once, you, of course, once you knock down a boxer three times in th three minutes, the round's over, the game's done, you can get the hell out. So, and th know that this rule applies to you too, so don't get knocked down three times. And don't get knocked out at all. If you get knocked out, there is some serious problems with your gameplay, because it is really easy to get up in this game. Really easy. Now, for the champion of the minor circuit, Bald Bull, the Celebrity Boxer. Bald Bull! So, Bald Bull retired from his pro arm wrestling skills to become a slightly better boxer than the ones who fought so far. However, it doesn't make him as good as he was during uh, Punch-Out and the new one, too, because he's really tough in the new one. Here, he's just a joke, somewhat. Granted, he will be a little threatening to the beginners, and he's definitely not pathetic, because there's one move that you really need to be mindful of. And... yeah, that's the move. Damn. All my health, gone. Luckily, getting up is as easy as just pressing all the buttons repeatedly. So, yeah, just keep yourself in mind of that move. You can counter it, of course, and dodging it's definitely not a bad idea. How the hell did you do that? And of course, let's talk about Power Up, because that's important. Uh, the reason why I have it on manual is because Power Up is a great trump card, but a horrible thing that just happened in the middle of the fight. You kind of want to keep it around for a couple things, like if you really need to KO a guy real fast, you can just turn it on and pretty much lay the smack down. If it comes automatically, you don't really have that option. Because it makes your punches twice as fast, about twice as powerful, and it removes the chances of dizzing your opponents. So, that's pretty much it. And here is why Bald Bull should just retire himself. Minor Circuit Champ, my ass. Got it. Right, on. right on indeed, Major Mac. Why did I keep saying your name wrong? I just think I don't know. Does, I just don't know his name at all. So, once you get through all these wonderful lame ass boxers, save for Ball Bull, we can now cherish the fact that we've gotten more replay value done and definitely got the lead in the point board. Because if you get a lot of rust and don't use them, they count as 10,000 points in the minor circuit. And, and Macho Mac is just so pleased with himself. I. Don't know what's there to be pleased of being on old men like this. But this has been the first video of Super Punch Out. And I will tell you this I am just kind of confused of how the universe of Punch Out works out because this is, I believe, just an alternate universe. For one thing, this Mac does not know a thing about Doc Lewis and he's contributed to his own strategy of knockout punches, which seem in some cases more effective. I mean, machine gun and cannons, yeah, that's definitely better than stars and meteors. But nevertheless, uh, uh, I would say that this game is definitely good from just the first thing. It definitely leads the beginners into this game pretty damn well, and I really have to say that uh, there are lots of ways you can take down these guys, but the thing is, is I really hate the three minute logic and that there's only one round. If you don't take down the boxer in three minutes, you lose the fight. There's no ands, ifs, or buts. It's kind of like, why, game? Why do you just cut out the frickin' floor from me like that? So that's one thing I don't really like about this game. And the second thing is that all these boxers can be defeated in 30 minutes if you're really good at this game. And you can probably... Did I say 30 minutes? I meant 30 seconds. Uh, if the fight was 30 minutes, that would be kind of long-winded, honestly. But... To the point, uh, all these boxers are pretty fast, easy defeats 90% of the time. If you know how to beat them, or know what they do and what to look out for, you're gonna pretty much tear these guys up. Especially if you know how to counterpunch. 
counter punching isn't that hard of a concept to grasp. And we're going to see more and more of that as we go on through this uh, LP. So I hope you guys enjoyed this this segment of Super Punch Out. And next time we're going to take on the Major Circuit and make those guys look a little bit better, but not as good. So thanks for watching. Adios.